Sounds about right. Freddy! Freddy! Hey, how's it Freddy? going? Freddy! Freddy! How you doing, man? What's going on? All right. Um, so I got the books here. Ooh, I'm excited! Got a couple on the ground here for you, for all you guys. Oh, shit. I grabbed them all over here. Put them on the table, I guess. You go, Taco. All right, you want to walk us through this booklet? Sure. So we could uh, we could kind of start off. I guess we'll just we'll just hang it over here. We'll be in the book anyways. All right. So let's open this book up. Ooh, vanilla unicorn huh? remodel. Okay, try I did something a little a little bit different with this one. They okay. look uh, they're going to look a little bit different than the last one. So I mean, it's still going to get the same image. Let me know yeah. if you like it or not. But first page, uh, vanilla unicorn remodel. Uh, Jade Dragon. I remember you said Emerald Jade. You know, that's yeah, just along the lines. to interpretation. Yeah, exactly. The, the green is the most important. So let's flip the page. Now we're going to be looking at the floor plans. So we went with the down one floor. So you walk in on the left, you see the entrance there. And then right immediately to the right, we have a staircase that goes down. And then if you look over to the right side of the page, you'll see the staircase continues to the rest of the, the floor. So I went with this way so we could kind of give it more, a little bit more room down in the floor. You right, know, right. A little bit more pizzazz. All right, let's go to the first page now. All right. So you'll see how they look a little bit different. They look a little bit more realistic. Oh, my the Lord. Oh, so we God. Went with a little bit of a uh, little bit of a render style. So we, first pictures here, we're looking at the main stage. This is kind of what you'd see, you know, as you walk <laughs> in, you look over the banister. And you would see kind of down here, it's just a general idea of the floor. We have the green, we have the white, we have a little bit of red to keep that, you know, oriental style right. in there for the dragon. And uh, yeah, we just kind of have a nice palace kind of theme, you know? Yeah, this is clean. Uh, I see those big booths on the left, too, of the stage. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So Some three booths, you can see the stage. Yeah, very nice. Divided. Um, we have these openings, There's these half monster. moon openings along the wall. Those could be the the spots for like the fire features that we spoke about, or like a water fountain, you know, whatever yeah. the construction really feels like they might, you know, they could add to it. It's all open. All right, next page. So now we're going to see the entrance on the left side. You see uh, the double door. How you asked for a nice double door? Yeah. And uh, so it'd be double door right on to open to the grand kind of view. You know, you walk in, you look over the over the banister, you see the big stage. You kind of have that. That nice, like, oh, I'm in a palace kind of vibe, you know? Yeah. Uh, to the right, we see we're looking into the VIP area. So as soon as you walk in from the main entrance, on the right, you'd have the stairs that go down. And on the left, you'd have kind of the owner's lounge, the VIP lounge, you know, kind of a secluded area. Okay. Uh, so that way you don't have to walk past, you know, you don't have to walk past the peasants to get to your VIP. Right, area. right. We don't want to go near those peasants. Right. Exactly, exactly. So we can flip the page again. We're going to be looking... On the left side, we're going to be looking into the VIP lounge uh, through kind of the uh, you know the glass or the divider, and on the right side, that's kind of the VIP lounge itself. I put some placement you know tables and stuff like yeah. that in there, but it could be couches, it could be chairs, it could be the dining lounge, like we said, you know. Yeah, we can get it some interior be... people to put all furniture, make that all nice, no problem. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So it's kind of open, you know. It's a big space. You can see you can fit you know tons of room. Alright, let's go. I heard some screaming. What the hell? Hey, oh, I want to on page six. Nobody fucking cares. LSPD, what the LSPD, fuck are you doing, man? Oh, LSPD. LSPD. What the fuck do you guys want? We got a 911 call. Uh, someone in distress here at this residence. We also no, heard sir. someone screaming inside. No, everyone's no. okay, sir. Are you positive? We got a 911 call. I was from behind. Everyone's right yeah. here. Yeah, okay. Okay, Garrett. You're just... You're just... Whatever. Okay? The dub shirt. How dare you? Someone did there. We gotta look at the premises. We'll Nobody's make sure fucking no in there, man. Go ahead and look. Ooh. All right, we're looking. We okay. got permission. All right. All right, watch out. Everybody, clear the area, please. We're looking. Oh, we're up, Sinkin. Oh, we're up. Oh, we're up. Oh, we're up. Pick up the drug on the floor. Pick up the drug. There we go. Hello, LSPD. You fucking in distress. You crying? Idiot, fam. Idiot. Ah, stupid locked. fucking cops, man. What's wrong with this fucking door? You guys hold people back there with against their will? Come on, Carmine. Where are you at? Let's go, let's go search this fucking. Let's go search this fucking place. They're hiding. These goddamn something. criminals are fucking shit. You better hurry the fuck up, Carmine. Put a bullet in your dumbass head. Who are you talking to, Carmine, like that, huh? 
I talk to what I want to talk to. You're, you're in my uh, fucking business, man. The, we're, we're, uh, listen, we're here legally, okay? Legally. We All gave right, you permission. So Hurry up. All right, I locked the door. Here we go. I'll search this fucking place, Jeez. Carmine. Head to toe. Head yes, to man. Toe. We look at this fucking place. Get him back to the office, Garrett, and you can lock him in there. <laughs> they'll, they'll be able to get out via the stage here. We gotta lock him in the office. Held against their will. All right. I'm sorry, sir. Are we causing an inconvenience for your gang member activities? Well, it's not my fault that we huh. had a disturbance. All right. Karma, hurry. Take pictures of everything you can. I mean, uh. Hey, what's uh, this white up, substance here? Up, disturbances. That's powder for the face, the dumb fuck. It's makeup. Get in there. Go, 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 go. Uh, go. They do. It's not what it looks like, Carmine. Sex pervs. Uh, no, it's not that we're... I'm coming, I'm coming, tanker. All right. All right, thanks, guys. You're coming. All right, back to where we left off. Right. Yeah. Page. We locked this. No, up. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put this on the table just in case it gets a little crazy in here. Take it, Mike. The cops. They have breaching charges, and they go at the back. And I don't want to have this go on my All back. Right, what page do. did we leave off on? Let me see. Okay, we're on uh, page six. Page six. All right, with the inside of the VIP lounge. Yeah. All right. Yes, yeah, so right. I can yeah, get so someone to fill that out. There. No problem. The layout is perfect. They got the overview of the stage. Looks fucking elegant. Luxurious. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. All right. And uh, do you want to take that? No, I just hung up. Okay. Okay. Uh, so yeah, on, now we're on page seven. Now we're looking from. Ooh, I guess. Hang up, Garrett. It's probably Tinker. It's, it's Tinker. <laughs> oh, it's them. All right. So page seven. Uh, we're looking from the VIP lounge into the office. So I put some dividers here, but it could be a glass door, could be you know some type of doorway. Uh, I just wanted to show kind of the, you know, the different space. So on the page seven, we're looking into the office. Mm -hmm. Page eight, that that is the office. So you get your own view onto the opening. Uh, you can look down. You know, you have your column shot. You have your separate uh, VIP lounge, kind of uh, as a buffer space to to get inside to your kind of space. And then if you flip the page again to page nine we'll be looking into kind of like the back room mm -hmm. so this is just uh i wanted to keep that entrance on the other side of the building i'm sure there's like a fire code or something like that, that they have to follow yeah, you know, yeah. dual entry or dual exits so i kept that door there and then i i put another kind of buffer space there so it's not directly into the owner's office you know what i mean perfect so you could have a multiple kind of locked doors page 10 is uh just another you know showing the space showing the size yeah. of it yeah, the palace like features uh, page Beautiful. eleven is the view from the owner's office onto the, you know, onto the Gorgeous. stage, onto the floor. You know, it's themed. We kind of turn the lights down a little bit so you kind of see what it'd be a little bit more like. But yeah, it'd be kind of nice. You know, you can see the entrance. You can see who's coming in, who's coming out. You can see the stage. You can see the bar. Pretty much from the owner's office, you can see kind of everything. Or you know, it's themed. We kind of turn the lights down a little bit so you kind of see what it'd be a little bit more like. But yeah, it'd be kind of nice, you know, you can see the entrance, you can see who's coming in, who's coming out, you can see the stage, you can see the bar, pretty much from the owner's office, you can see kind of everything. And Perfect page view. 12. On the right side, we have the staircase going down. Uh, as soon so as that's you go from down, the entrance, right? Exactly, yeah. That, we're going back to the entrance, we're taking the left out of the entrance, and we're looking downwards. Uh, straight away, we have the cloakroom. Uh, that's kind of right down the staircase there, you see it. Uh, that's you know where you put your coats, all that kind of stuff. You know wherever you you drop off your things. Uh, you can see right above that we got a little bit of art. You know a little bit of dragon art. We have the the red dragon and the green gorgeous, dragon co-mingling. Gorgeous. You know what I mean? A little bit of the love there. Uh, page thirteen. We're looking at the cloak room. You see the staircases to the right there up a little bit. Yeah. And uh, you can see to the left of the cloak room you have a little door. Uh, that's kind of another little buffer space, so you can have uh, you know. That's where your employees could clock in and whatnot before they go to the cloakroom or they go to the bar. Page huh? 14, we're looking at the same kind of thing, but from the other side. Uh, you can see the bar space there, and then you can see the cloakroom. You know, just a general you know layout there for those two things. Uh, page 15, flip the page. Uh, we're looking from the bar on the This place the is stage. so much bigger now. Kind of dim the lights in this one again. You can see the VIP spaces. You can see the, the VIP lounge up top, the owner lounge. Underneath the staircase, we'll see it 
a little bit later on again. Uh, we got the DJ booth. So you can kind of see the little space there, but it's kind of hidden. Uh, you can see it on page 16 on the right, underneath uh, on the right side there again. Oh, yeah, I see the DJ booth. And is that the bar right next yeah. to it? Uh, the bar is on 16. If you look on page 16, yeah. it's it's straight ahead underneath the, uh, you know, on the, yeah, on the yeah, base okay, floor. Yeah, I see it. So it's, it's long, a big, long bar. Um, it's just something, something nice. You know? Uh, flip the page to page 17. We're going to see the entrance to the changing rooms. You see that under the uh, on the basement floor there. You see the little doorway. Yeah. Yep. So that's the entrance to the changing rooms. Uh, to the left of that, we this have a water crazy feature. You'll see on shit. page 18, we have the water feature on the wall. Oh, kind of gorgeous. Just a, you know, just a kind of a basic setup. Not too much to take away from anything, but just kind of blend in. You know, add a little bit. I of, like that. Put some fire torches flare. next to it. Perfect. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's hard to render the fire. Yeah, so yeah. We kind of left. We could out. add all those little could, details with the interior designers and stuff. Exactly. Exactly. The, the design is, is this is the foundation. A little bit emptier. Yep. Exactly. For for that. So uh, yeah. So we say page 17, 18, We have the water feature, and we'll flip it to nineteen. Nineteen. We can see the doorway again up top. You know, just to get a a good uh, idea of that area. And then page twenty, we're looking at the bar. So we're gonna a little bit more detailed kind of picture of how you'd go from the main VIP or the main uh, main floor to the bar area up those little staircases, you know, all trimmed up with gold everywhere, gold trim, emerald color, jade color kind of all over the place. And then we have the white and then uh, that kind of that wraps it up. So that's Fucking beautiful. Yeah, I like that entrance. They come in immediately look down over and they're just like, holy shit. This is great. Yeah. Yeah, it was hard. Uh, actually, if you want to switch to page 11, I actually didn't get a good picture, but page 11 has kind of the idea of the ceiling to add even more like wowness. You know, when you walk in, you look down, you look up, you have yeah. a big mural on the ceiling. You know, you have a triple kind of staged roof, very oriental theme, I guess. Beautiful. Yeah, but, I love this. Yeah. The layout's making way better use of the space. It's kind of similar to what they have, how they come in and then you drop down to a lower level. Except ours yeah. will be uh, obviously deeper, and we can make yeah, way more exactly. use of this space. It's up, we don't. We actually, I was looking at it, doing measurements and stuff like that on the outside, and I think there's no upwards room. It's like pretty much capped. You know, we're hitting the ceiling. Yeah. So the only way I could kind of benefit from that was that we have to go down. You know, we gotta we gotta go down so we can get more depth, more three D feel. Pretty, you know what I mean? How hard would this be to accomplish? Is this pretty easy? You know the logistics it, behind it. I think uh, I think it'd be fairly easy uh, because I went downwards. Uh, I didn't really I didn't really mess around with the exterior. It's more of a double door. Like you just have to expand the door a little bit. Yeah. You know, break down the walls and then essentially work downwards. Down is always easier than up, or you know, uh, like tear down and rebuild kind of. Yeah, thing. you know, so, we don't have to change the exterior at all. It's just making this place a little deeper, changing the inside. Yeah, I mean, it, it, get into like the details of how things would work. Um, that I, it, you know, it's probably a little bit more complex than, than you know how I can describe. But I think uh, I think this is more possible than not possible. Yeah, and I think these blueprints do help a lot. I mean, it's, it's all mapped out. The ideas there just got to be put together. Yeah, and the thing is, is both blueprints, all my blueprints, uh, are essentially three D. So if you wanted, uh, you know, if, if whoever was taking on the construction project wanted to really get an idea of how everything's laid out, they could look at it in a 3D aspect. So, you know, oh, well. that's just another little thing. You're a fucking monster, man. What uh, what did you think compared to the, like, the looks of the, the, the pictures compared to the last one? Oh, I like this a lot. I mean, fuck, Garrett, do you, you have like the old one? one on you? No, I'll give it back. Yeah, I like this. Um, I'm trying to, I'm trying to recall what the other one looked like. It was more. Yeah. Looked more like the drawings, other one was more right? Like cartoony. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, drawing. Yeah, yeah. This one's more realistic. You know, so. Well, yeah. The, this yeah. one looks more like the city, actually. You know. Exactly. That was so, kind of my idea was to get it as close to kind of what you would actually see. Yeah. If you show me this and didn't tell me it wasn't in the city, I'd be like, yeah, this is probably in the city. Like this looks like a building in the city. 
So yeah, probably the second one. Good to hear. Good to hear. Because I did. I showed a couple people, and they're like, I kind of like the first one. I was like, fuck, really? But I mean, the idea is there. Like, you still see what you know, what we're trying to do, and what you what you guys want to envision. So yeah, that's good. Awesome. Let me get the. What did All we right. say was the pay for this? Uh, this one I think was it three hundred. All right, let me get that thing calf. What happened with those cops? Yeah, uh, oh, most definitely. Yeah, way bigger upgrade. So nice of you, Freddy, for only do this for three hundred bucks. Oh, actually, a really good man right there for the people, yeah, for the people. Oh, it's for the people, you know. And I, 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 I think a uh, little bonus for you I for the hard work. Cool. You fucking killed it, man. Oh shit! I got a lot of money on me right now. God damn! Hmm. All right, you better take yourself yeah. to the uh, Gary. What happened with yeah, these cops? Yeah. Oh, they yeah, still back sure. there? No, no, I let them out to the back. All right, all right. Oh, nice. We would have a SWAT team here, man. They wanted a. Fucking harass me. They wanted to arrest me, bro. That's why I left my gun up here. <laughs> arrest you, man. What the I hell? Started, you they, let him in the building all nice and everything. They started dazing me. They're yeah. like, imprisonment. I'm like, bro, these doors automatically locked, man. Your fault. Damn fault, man. Wow. Incredible. Incredible, Freddy. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, if you ever need anything else, feel free. You know, let me know. Call Carmela. She, she usually, she's usually pretty good. Uh, I mean, I, I like. I just want to thank you know those people, Morph, Morph and Tears, because I think without them, you know, we wouldn't be we wouldn't be here. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Oh, great group of people. Yeah. If I think yeah. of anything else or I have any new ventures coming, I'll definitely hit you up. Yeah, hell yeah. It's very fun work. You know, it's uh, I love doing this stuff. So. Oh, that's awesome. I mean, Garrett, your scuba right, shop does it need any? I mean, we already got the design, right? Oh no! Hey, great job! I saw the yeah. updates. Yeah, I, I, you know, it was hard for me to kind of make anything, but uh, I put the quartz, I put little bags there. No, it looks know, great. It looks great. So now we're going to wait for uh, Alex Ron to, you know, stop being a loser and start putting stuff into action here. Oh, I feel like yeah. it's never going to get done. I'm waiting for Alex Ron. Good luck. Oh, we do have a uh, possible another record label we're going to be uh, building called Dolphin Records. So I'll keep you in the loop oh, with that, me. but we'll probably use you for that. Yeah. Yeah, actually, I think I was actually supposed to do their house, right? Oh, I think, shit. Uh, they, they live on, like, uh, they live by the, in the hills somewhere. Don Dolph, yeah. Is it behind his house? Like, he was going to do the record thing in his house, in his garage? Um, No, I think we're... Actually, no, I think we're getting a whole uh, building now. Oh, shit. Yeah, he probably was going to do really some cool. kind of in-home studio, though, too, though, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because when I when we went to go talk about his house, he talked Peace about well. that, too. All right. Well, hey, man, I'm I'm just a phone call away or text away, you know, so feel free to... I also need you for my lockpick store, so I'm going to need some of that. Oops, your storefront? Yeah. What's your store card? Yeah, okay, hell yeah. A lockpick store? Multi-locks. Multi-locks? We're going to sell that. Multiple lockpicks. Normal lockpicks, advanced lockpicks, yep, drills. Yeah, both of those, drills. It's like that. Anything to get past the lock. Yep, yep, exactly. Or shit in the future, so... Okay. Yeah, well, I'll start thinking about things now, you know, thinking about the design and whatnot. All right. Anything I can Amen. bring up. Hell yeah. All right, gentlemen. Uh, yeah, like, I got to go to the bank because I don't want to get fucking... Yeah, get that stuff in the bank, my man. Yeah. All hey, right, Rob, let us know. Take care. Right, take care. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah. All right, go ahead. He's walking out the door now. Rob him. <laughs> He's a imagine, monster bro? at this Have a good set of bank a lot. Oh, my God, you got robbed? No way. Oh, my God, someone gave me mail. What the hell? I'm so cute for that. All right, come on. I, I hear I have a like a bunch of books. If you want to give it to people, yeah, yeah, yeah we'll show it off. Bruh, they scratched your car. Yo, what the fuck? There we go. Yo, paint is oh, fucked, my boy. Shit. That was Carmine and Tinker, 100%. So they want to fucking play with us, huh?